Today we received another MacBook A2141, which came in dead, with a shorted NAND again. We took out all the NAND and found two NANDs were shorted so we borrowed another from A2159 board, which had same number NANDs. All the NANDs are Toshiba TSB4227 numbered 128 GB NAND. So we borrowed these tin and chips from A2159 motherboard and replaced it with the two which got shorted in our A2141. We also programmed it using JCP13 programmer and then reballed and installed back on A2141 motherboard. Here we are now removing the faulty and chips from our A2141 motherboard. We already replaced these chips once, but the machine was giving error 4042 and was fluctuating its amper readings from 0 to 800 then again 0. These fluctuation in the amps readings usually comes because of faulty and or mismatched data, faulty PMU chip and faulty T to ROM chip. Sorry for the out of focus view, this is the first time I am creating a repair video. My motive of making this video is to cover the NAND replacement procedure and also to explain error, which most people do, while replacement NAND from another machine. Make sure to clear the board nicely before installing chips. If any dust or glue particles gets left on the solder, pads can cause error and increase your work. Now we are ready to install chips back. We have already programmed all chips using P13 Programmer, and we are installing them in the same sequence as programmed. The best way to remember the sequence is to write them on the chip, as we have written on ours 86 stands for U8600 IC. Now we are cleaning and reballing other three chips. There are total five N and chips installed in our A2141 machine. Make sure you don't heat N too much while cleaning. 280 degree is the best recommended temperature for IC cleaning. Please don't get confused by the numbers we are writing on the NAND it's just for our reference. Points to remember while replacing NAND chips on a MacBook are 
No matter how many NANDs are shorted you will have to remove on and replace the faulty NAND with a new one reprogram them, and install in the same sequence, as programmed. Also keep in mind, that all NANDs should be of same, number, as displayed, in the programming option of P13. We will soon make another video which includes the program in part 2. Here is the pic of NAND installed in our A2141 motherboard. Thank you for watching.